Hi guys, what's up? My name is Ronald. I make travel guides, travel tips going to Philippines and Singapore. Are you attending a Taylor Swift concert or its tour, holiday, or first time traveling to Singapore? No matter what profile you have, I will help you on what are the requirements that you need to show in Singapore immigration and Philippine immigration. So before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be updated when I have a new video. If you are Filipino going to Singapore, it will be a bit different compared to other countries. For example, yung previous issue na merong naiwan dahil sa sobrang daming tanong ng immigration sa kanya. Sobrang dami po nilang tinanong like kung saan po ako pupunta, sino yung pupuntahan ko, paano ano yung pupuntahan ko. Dami po nilang hiningin papeles. Although his papers are complete, it's too late. Nag-last call na yung aeroplano. For foreigners, going to Singapore, you don't need to worry about immigration. It's just in Philippines. So, for Singapore immigration, prepare your Singapore arrival card, individual submission for solo traveler, and group submission, people, two or more, family or group of friends. And besides that is your passport and ticket. If your country is listed in this link, you need to acquire a visa. But for Filipinos, hindi po tayo required ng visa. So Philippine passport holder is visa free in Singapore. If you have visited this country, you need to produce a yellow vaccine certificate as well. If you don't have the yellow vaccine certificate, you will be quarantined and you need to pay for it. And lastly, there is no need for COVID vaccination requirement and travel insurance if you're going to Singapore. So if you're still here and you want to know the requirements for Philippines, please keep watching. Anyway, ito yung mga kailangan yung wala namang masyadong pinagbago for this month, August. So first is you need to submit your Singapore arrival card. You can submit individual. If not, you can submit group submission. Next is your e-travel departure. So, e-travel departure, ito yung blue QR code kapag lalabas kayo ng Philippines or magde-depart kayo from Philippines. In case na nakalimutan yung gumawa ng e-travel departure, meron po sa airport, pwede kayo magsulit doon. But, of course, you have to be in the airport 2 to 3 hours before. Kasi marami rin tao na hindi alam yung e-travel, I think, as of now. In Singapore naman, if you forget Singapore arrival card, you can also do that before ng immigration. Meron ding pila or counter for that. For this two requirement, I have tutorial videos. Kindly uh, check it out if you are new to e-travel and Singapore arrival card. If madalas kayo mag-travel sa Singapore or maybe three times a year, I recommend installing my ICA app so that you can save your profile. Hindi nyo na kailangan ulit-ulitin yung personal information nyo. Nakasave na siya sa app. Babaguhin nyo lang yung travel date. Okay, next is your passport and flight itinerary. And don't forget ng return ticket kasi hahanapin yun. So, flight itinerary, ito yung nasa email nyo na binili nyo yung ticket from Cebu Pacific, Jetstar, Scoot, and so on. Ito yung may booking reference. Next is yung travel tax for adults and for minors. So, you need to pay for it. For OFW, you don't need to pay travel tax. We are exempted. Also, wala na din pong COVID-19 insurance. Wala na din pong COVID vaccine requirement from Philippines to Singapore. So, you don't need to worry about bringing your vaxxer yellow card vaccine. If you are employed or nagtatrabaho kayo sa government, please don't forget to acquire a authority to travel or travel authority. Para sa mga OFW na first time lalabas ng Philippines, or kakakuha lang ng trabaho, congratulations! Don't forget to bring your OEC, your work visa if applicable, your verified work contract, verified ng POEA, PIDOS, and medical if applicable then. If your passport is newly renewed or bago lang yung passport nyo, kindly bring your old one kahit may butas siya. And then yung mga recent travel nyo is na dun sa lumang passport. Kasi minsan nahanapin yun, 
if you are not feeling well or if you have fever or anything before your flight date, I recommend magpagaling na lang kayo. Kasi hindi kayo pasasakay ng aeroplano if you are not feeling well. This is not a promotional advertisement or anything, but you can try and install Flighty app. It will keep you informed about your flight status, if it's delayed or if it's landed already. Just in case you need an update sa airport information. So pag nakalagpas na kayo ng Philippine Immigration, you're good to go. Wala na kayong problema. So guys, if you want to know naman the questions and required documents that you need to bring tapuntang Singapore, it will be in my next video. Please watch it. I will upload a new one. I want to keep it simple and informative. So once again, thanks for watching. Shout out sa mga bago nag-subscribe. And I will see you on my next video.